Okay, 2003. Uh, 2003 was a very warm year in the Columbia Valley. I mean, sim most similar probably to 1998. In fact, you'd call it a, uh, a hot year. Uh, the grapes were fully mature, but more of an elegant vintage. Um, it, was it was pretty warm. That helps to soften tannins um, and get a lot of fully ripe fruit. Uh, this vintage of Col Solari is 80% Cabernet Sauvignon, 10% uh, Merlot, 5% uh, Cabernet Franc, and 5% uh, Petit Verdot. You know, it's the first time that both those two varieties are part of the blends. Uh, Cabernet Franc, of course, is used for spice and complexity. And then Petit Verdot is kind of a unique variety, and we use it to add power, sometimes to add color, and also it helps to kind of to elevate the aromas um, of other varieties uh, with it. So let's taste how this one's doing. This has a lot of, a lot of black fruit, kind of, a, uh, again, black cherry, berries, it smells very ripe, uh, some dried fruit. Still smell a little bit of the spice from the, from the oak. Wow, the taste of this, it's, it's, it's silky. Um, it's soft. Um, the tannins are, are mature. Um, the finish is a keep tasting it, it, see how it lingers, and it has a really nice lingering berry and cherry type flavors that kind of are coating the sides of your mouth as, as they go forward. It's really nicely balanced wine. It's not a power wine. You know, it's more of an elegant, uh, more elegant, I'd say, in style. Um, I think it's drinking really nice right now. Um, you know, I, it, it, I think it will age, but actually, the way this is drinking right now, it's, it's kind of like a wine that's it's in its peak or going into its peak. Um, so maybe I'd, drink, I'd, I'd open it. Um, maybe hold on to it for a few more years if you want, but to experience a wine that is just coming into that zone of drinkability, this is a great example of that.